Hello everyone, Andrea with I Dream of Crafting. This is just going to be a quick time lapse of, um, once again, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, decals that I've been doing um, for wallets and for the uh, canvas. Um, I'm doing Raphael today, the red uh, clad turtle. Um, I actually got an order for one of, uh, actually two of these, so this is the second one. You saw Michelangelo, which is the other one that will be um, in with the order. I'm very excited um, that I actually sold two of these. So um, I am still planning on doing the other two, uh, Leonardo and Donatello, as wallets. So it should be very, very cool. Um, but I did tell you that I would, um, you know, time lapse the making of them. Um, I don't have the wallet time lapsed. Um, I think I did do it. I'll have to find it and link it. Um, but I actually had the wallet made already. Um, I don't remember doing it, but it was on my desk. So, <laughs> it kind of worked out. Um, the wallet was already made, so all I had to do was the decal. Um, I will also link to this video the um, clear taping technique I use for decals on wallets. Um, so if anyone wants to see or learn or know how to clear tape a design once, in a, what, once it's on a wallet, then you can go watch that video. So um, this was pretty cool. I always enjoy this um, design. This is fast becoming one of my favorite designs to do. Pretty, sh pretty sure someday I'll be able to just do it freehand. That'll be pretty cool. But um, this is actually the um, this white tape is actually the Duck Brand white tape that I've been talking about the past couple of videos, and I love it. I don't know what brand of duck um, I don't know what brand of white tape I got before that I've been using all this time, but it is definitely not not Duck Brand. So um, this white tape works beautifully. So I'm going to actually be redoing that little Marvel symbol that I did for the um, Guardians of the Galaxy time lapse. It's in part two. If you want to go look at that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be redoing that little Marvel symbol because I think this will work out a whole lot better. So we're fast reaching the end of this time lapse. Just doing the side of his face here. Uh, like I said in other videos, or the last time lapse I did of Michelangelo, these lines are really thin. So when I trace them, I, I thicken them up just a bit. Not too much, but enough so that I can get them off the, um, the cutting board without ruining them. So there's the bottom of his face, and there's the top of his face. And now it's time to apply. I got a little overzealous here, and I, I stretched out the this one right here. You'll see, yeah, right there. I stretched out a little bit, so I just cut it off. It's not that big of a deal. Just going a little too fast, and I had a little trouble sticking this on, but I got it to work. And just cleaning up some stray fibers here from the duct tape. And uh, there were a lot of fibers on this bottom piece. And there you go. Oh, I've forgotten one thing. His tails, of course. The tails of his bandana. I can't believe I forgot that. So just quickly cutting this out. You see that they don't really end. They kind of end awkwardly there. So I have to uh, find middle ground and kind of freehand the end of those tails there. There you go. Just sticking these on. And there we go, Raphael Wallet. So I'll uh, link those other videos for you.